Okay guys, this is my portable gaming PC tablet thing. Uh, I don't know what to call it really. But uh, let's go over the features here, shall we? Uh, it has an 8 inch touchscreen LCD capable of uh, 800 by 600 resolution. Actually it can do 1024 by 768 but well, it's a little blurry. Uh, integrated Xbox 360 controller. Um, the D-pad, as you can see, is from a PlayStation controller because it's a much better D-pad. Um, the audio amp is from the screen. All the screen controls are down here. There's even a, a thing for a remote control for the screen, which I haven't actually used. Uh, the back you can see the, I guess you call them back buttons, but the shoulder buttons are actually from PlayStation controller. We got a big vent that's actually from an Xbox 360. Uh, you know, one of the side vents of the original Xbox 360. Uh, the bottom, the bottom, there's nothing to look at. It's just vent holes. And then the top, we have the motherboard, the power switches, uh, power jack. These switches here are for the uh, Xbox 360 controller and the touchscreen in case I want to turn them off or back on to save power or what have you. VGA cable, because I didn't want to solder anything to the motherboard, I'll get back to that in a minute here. Okay, so let's plug this in and turn it on. Just a second here. While it's booting up, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, uh, there are no batteries. The reason why is because it is too heavy. There's room for the batteries. This is the battery status indicator. There is a switch up here for the batteries. There is a charging jack for the batteries. But it's just too heavy. Way too heavy. Um, what else? What else? Okay, let me tell you about the specifications. Obviously, it's running Windows XP right now. It's a uh, mini, mini ITX motherboard. The it's, it's a socket P motherboard. It, it takes a laptop processors. Right now, it's got a Intel Core 2 Duo T7300. That's two gigahertz with uh, a four megabyte L2 cache. And I wanted at least a four megabyte L2. I was building this on a budget, and it was the cheapest L2 with at least four megabyte. Um, Let's see. Has four gigabyte of DDR3 RAM. Uh, can, the motherboard can take eight, but right now, since I'm running XP, there's no point. The it has an onboard uh, GeForce 9100M. It's if you're familiar with the Ion Nvidia Ion, it's very comparable. At least in my system, it is because I have it. It, it doesn't have uh, its own dedicated RAM, but it does share. The DDR3. Now, because it's the DDR3, it actually is about comparable to the Ion. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the, about the motherboard. I wanted a motherboard that was very upgradable. Um, I can put in a much better CPU. I can put in, you know, the additional four gigabyte RAM. Um, also, one of the reasons it's so big is because. I wanted to be able to swap out the motherboard in the future if I, if I really wanted to. Also, the case is made out of uh, two OKW enclosures back to back. They're kind of glued together, JB welded together. Um, let's see. Oh, another thing about the motherboard is I wanted one with a PCI Express slot. Now, for a video card, and it does have one. And I have the, uh, yeah, the riser card and a cartridge slot style 
cover that would go back here, but I do not have a power supply yet that can put out the amps in order to power both the system and the video card. But that was only an extra feature that I was planning to use when I was at home, you know, set up on a desk. And I'm still going to put it in eventually, but there's no point at the moment. Um, as far as the battery pack, I'll just make it external at some point. Um, let's see, there's built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, right now, it's just a USB dongle. It's actually right underneath here. I can actually pop this side panel out real easily and take it out. But uh, th there is a PCI Express, a mini PCI Express uh, card slot on the motherboard, but I don't have a card for it yet, so I just stuck a USB dongle in there for now. Um, so let me show you some gameplay. Hey, I'm back. Good thing I stopped recording then, because my camera batteries died. So, Steam is freaking updating Team Fortress, but we're going to play uh, Oblivion here. <clears throat> Can't really hear that, can you? The audio amp in this thing is terrible. And the speakers I put in this thing are kind of terrible, too. But, you know, it's alright for now. I might change the audio amp at some point. Speakers, I use really small ones. Whatever. You can't use a touch screen in Oblivion. Unfortunately. And it doesn't have X input for or the uh, Xbox 360 controller, so I had to use x patter to uh, mine things. How do I... Oh, I, I can't remember. Oh, I forgot to turn on my x patter profile. We'll be right back. Actually, I figure I might as well show you. It's means I alt tabbed out, but x patter is what I'm using to for the different things here. Oblivion. No, Oblivion. I can't do this. Bad angle to be doing this. Okay. There we go. Now we go back into Oblivion. Of course, Oblivion is a game that, there we go, likes to do that. Okay. Oh, uh, something I didn't point out before. The hard drive light. Lighting up the green button there. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. How do I do this? Ah, put the stylus in. Well, it's not stylus tomorrow. I have a stylus somewhere. Um, why am I running slow? Oh, now I'm sneaking. Oh, my. Well, okay. Let's try another save. So you can at least see the graphics better. No, not save, load. Bumble, bumble, bumble. There, how about that? Just do it. Ah! <sighs> there we go. Oh, shit. Um, sword? Uh, forget what I bound the controls to. Oh, he's dead. I can't see what I'm doing at this angle. Okay, anyways. You can see the game is running fairly well. It's... I haven't modded the game. I could probably install some mods to make it run better. Um, I could turn down the settings. Uh, right now, everything's on max, and it runs pretty good. If I turn on the FPS calculator thing, I, or turn on fraps even, uh, when I get close to Imperial City, which, you know, everybody knows is the worst part of the game, as far as 
frames per second. Uh, it drops down to the teens, but that, that's not a big deal. I um, guess I could try to show you here. But anyways, you, you, you know Oblivion if you played Oblivion. Very pretty game. Some people think it's outdated by now. But anyways, that's Oblivion. We'll come back with uh, something else. Fallout 3! It does have X input, so it actually works with the Xbox 360 controller without having to use X Pedder or anything else. And my camera's gonna die again. Why do I not have any good batteries? Anyways, you can see the game is working. Why am I running slow? There we go, I zoomed in for some reason. But, you know, it works. Whatever, you know, you get the idea. Battery's gonna die. Let's, I'll be back with another game. Okay, this is Nintendo DS emulation. Um, right now it's Phantom Hourglass. Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I made the bottom screen bigger because, you know, if you've played this game, you only really use the bottom screen for the most part. Um, come on. Yes, I touched the touch screen. So yeah, this thing is great for DS simulation. Ha! <laughs> uh, well, it crashed. But, okay. Well, for some reason, the DS simulator is not working at the moment. Whatever. Let's try something uh, I know works, is the N64 emulation. And... Um, I think I closed X Pattern. So, I need to... Open that. Open the N64. Layout, that just lets me alt tab and stuff, but... It's helpful. So here's Road Rash 64, one of my favorite games on this system. Start. This is one I can play with one hand, I think. Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay, start. Big game, yeah, yeah. Where's my game? Oh, fine. Just, whatever. Eh, eh, eh. Start. Whatever. Yes. I didn't love my save state, that's the problem. A to start the race. Oh, okay. Am I pushing the right button? Yes. I think. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's not look at the console. Okay. Very difficult to play this this angle, but you get the idea. This is emulating the C-stick. See if I can hit somebody. For some reason their hands and feet aren't showing up. Maybe it's just the emulator. I can probably try another one. Hey guys, here's uh, Dragon Age Origins. I don't have Dragon Age 2 yet. I don't know if it'll run on, on this or not. Okay. But uh, one cool thing about this game is main reason I'm showing it to you is the touch screen actually works with this game which is amazing I, I, I very much applaud Bioware for uh, making it work it's one of the only games I've tried that actually does it the only game I've tried that actually works so uh forget how to... But anyways, you see it's working. Um, I have a... I forget what button, but I have a button program to... Uh, to... Oh, well, look, I can take a health thing or whatever. Oh my god. But anyways, I have a button program to... Uh, do the right mouse button, so I can hold that in and rotate, or maybe... No. I forget. But... You know, Dragon Age, this is the beginning of, a, of the game in one of the origins. Hmm. Anyways, 
There's Dragon Age. And next we'll do something else. Okay, this is uh, GameCube emulation with the uh, Dolphin emulator. As you can see, it's only running at 73%, 21 FPS. Um, and if you're familiar with the game, you can tell this, the music is going really slow. But, you know, it works. I can play it. Not very well. I mean, it's it works. It's playable. I'm sure there's other games that run better. But, I just wanted to show you that it, it does actually kind of run. So, there's that. Okay, guys. From here on out, it's just audio. You can stare at this picture. But, so, apparently, I don't have any more batteries in my house. And my uh, camera eats through batteries like a mofo. So, so... Yeah, this thing I built is it's it's for me, so I don't really care if it's not perfect. I mean, if someone wants to uh, make an offer to buy it, feel free. But as much time as I put into it, uh, it's gonna, you're gonna have to make a pretty big offer for me to sell it. Um, also, this is my Let's Play channel, and if you subscribe to me you're not going to be seeing a lot of videos like this you're just going to be seeing let's plays so don't subscribe thinking you're going to be seeing a lot of projects or anything uh and to my subscribers who are watching this uh i don't know what do you think uh last thing i just want to give a couple shout outs um mostly to uh sam jc3 on mod retro uh he's got another name on ben heck i can't remember um, he's doing similar projects at the moment. He hasn't finished yet, but I, I think he's going to very soon. Anyways, it, uh, if it weren't for him, uh, I don't think I would have finished this thing <laughs> as fast as I did, even though it took me forever because I procrastinated. But, uh, just talking to someone else who's interested in doing the same thing and, and talking about the little details really motivated me to actually do it so uh, I just want to say thanks to him and I, I hope to see uh, his uh, portables at some point soon um, to everyone else that, uh, that I that I talked to on the forum to get help uh, with, with with you know just suggestions on how I should do things and and opinions and and, and things like that uh, much appreciated thanks guys